<clears throat> hey guys, this is Joe Somerville here with my first Blender video tutorial. As you can see, today's tutorial subject is how to make a jet trail, like something a missile would leave behind. Um, so this was a nice idea I just had last night, and the reason I wanted to make a tutorial with it was because, well, it was different from other techniques that I, that people would typically think of because it didn't require any smoke simulation, which would include baking and very long, tedious renders. So, it's a very easy setup, and hopefully we can have a little fun with it. So, start by opening a new scene in Blender. Let me just scale this down to fit the window. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. So, let's start by deleting the default cube and adding a path curve. Um, go into top down view, tab into edit mode, and let's scale this up and just move these hook points around until you get something you like. Mm. If you're wondering what I mean by something you like, well, I mean, um, something you think would work as a path for our little missile to follow. Um, so, as you can see, these hook points are kind of not affecting the curve very much, so, um, subdivide them and that'll tighten up those creases. Um, so, that's great, but there's nothing going on, so, obviously, we'll have to model a missile. So, um, Set the radius to 0.3 and the depth to 0.8. I mean, 1.6. Go into edit mode and rotate this 90 degrees. And hit S.5. Well, let's add. Actually, let's take everything and scale it up along the x axis. Um. Add a loop cut close to the back and add another loop cut close to the front. Select all those front vertices, scale them down in the back vertices and scale them down. Select the back vertices and scale them down, but not as much. Extrude them, scale them down, and then extrude them in. So this is going to be the nozzle. Go into edge select mode and just select these four um, corner edges here along the back. Hit extrude S one point two uh, S shift X. 1.5 and S, and S X point five. Move them back on the X axis. Actually, scale them up a little more. And uh, scale them down more along the X axis. Um. So. 
this is just a very, very basic missile model. Super basic. And we can set the shading to smooth. What's happened? Okay. And some things are quite ugly now, so we're going to have to add an edge split modifier and maybe set the degrees to 20. There we go. So it's a very basic missile. Um, go into front view. Now shift select the path, the curve, and hit control P and we've got some options here. And we're gonna select follow path so that when we click Alt A, it'll animate this missile following along the path to some extent. But it's starting at the wrong place, so the curves are much too extreme. So you need to move this back. Just a missile. We need to move it back to the base of that curve. And another thing I forgot to say is um, take everything and move it so that the nozzle is about on the origin point. Because that way it'll rotate along the right way. So now if we hit Alt-A, it's following, but it's not facing the right direction, so that's Obviously, very easy to fix. Just rotate it. And maybe rotate it a bit up. And now it's following along nicely. Okay, but there's no jet trail. Um, so, we need to model that. So, add a cylinder. The radius is going to be point, uh, point one two. Uh, better make that point one five. And the depth of this, um, well, go so into edit mode and rotate it ninety degrees. And scale it up along the x-axis five times. Well, not quite that much. Hit S.6. Um, that should be good. Um, now hit Control R to add loop cuts and scroll up on your mouse wheel or trackpad or whatever you're using until so you've got lots of loop cuts that you've added. Tons, so that the faces are almost squares or if you can get them to be squares that's even better but and this is going to be our jet trail so what we're going to need to do since this wouldn't fit in the nozzle of that missile we're going to need to have to scale this down so turn on proportional editing mode and hit s shift x scale this down to something you think would fit in that nozzle that should be good, maybe even a little too small. Um, yeah, and then do the same for this end. Only the fall off for this is going to be sharp, and the radius of the proportion is going to be much bigger. Yeah, not quite that big. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. And um, set the shading to smooth. Now, add a curve modifier. And this is one of my favorite modifiers. And set the object to that NURBS path. So now, as you can see, it's warping to slide right along this path. Um, so we need to move it back to fit into that missile nozzle. Um, so that's...
that's all fine and dandy, but if you hit Alt A, of course it's not following the missile. And you might think hit Shift Select the missile and hit Control P, set parent to object. But that's no good because this curve is doubling now. And as time goes on, the mesh actually goes out in front of the origin. So that's no good either. So um, undo that with Control or Command Z. Um, so just add keyframe for location, then go to frame 100, which is where the missile stops moving, and move it along until it fits back into the nozzle. Hit I keyframe for location. So now, if we play back the animation, it's no good. That's easy to fix though. Go into the animation window and you've got this F curve editor down here. It's probably gonna look small on the on the video. It looks small here too. But anyway, hover your mouse over there and hit V, set keyframe handle type, and select vector. So now they're all going straight and not fading in and fading out. So now it's keeping right in pace with that missile. Right. But as of now, it's just this big Play-Doh snake. So we need to set up a few materials. And while we're at it, go into the camera view mode and shift select the missile and hit Control T, track to constraint. And 